Hey, Shalom. First off, I would like to give all praises on and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakwak Kadash, Yahweh who the world ignorantly calls God, Yahweh Shai who the world ignorantly calls Jesus. Want to give a double honor to the apostles of Great Millstone, who has taught me this truth. Want to give a peace and blessings to the Akim across the four corners of the earth who teach this truth. And rest of the life to do so. It's going to be a quick video. Low when the video is edifying, low when the Akim gets something from this video. Uh, basically, it's going to be about, man, it's just, you know, just bringing out. You know, lifting up the skirt on uh on its place, man, and 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 bringing out just the wickedness of Esau and why this motherfucker has to be destroyed, man. You know, I was just listening to the brother in Texas uh video, um and um you know, and they were talking about um you know the CO two taxing and the CO two tracking and all that, right? And you know, I was sitting and I was thinking about just you know all kind of scriptures came up in my up in my head, but. Really, Obadiah was was really the one because it goes into the destruction of of Esau and how Esau is going to be, you know, how that that uh, race is going to be, um, um, you know, wiped off the face of the earth, man. You know, how is is going to be done away with? And and these are the reasons why, man. If you just look into it and you look into that and everything else that this devil wants to do and wants to implement, I mean, you would understand why we call him the fucking devil. And you will understand why we hate Esau as well. Okay. I mean, here it is. The world has been around for, you know, years. And yet all of a sudden, you know, motherfuckers coming up with brilliant ideas as far as, you know, carbon uh, um, um, finding and, you know, carbon, uh, you know, carbon tracking, CO2 tracking, shit like that. Like, come on, man. You know, and which, you know, and I guess what they're saying is that, um, that it's like damaging, you know, um, it could damage like, uh, you know, the earth, so to speak or whatever, but no one has, has damaged the earth more than you fucking Edomites and you heathen. Okay. But mainly you Edomites, you know, no one has damaged the earth more than you motherfuckers. You think what I'm saying? So for you motherfuckers to sit up here and, 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 you know, sit there and try to, you know, implement your system, right? Because we know what it's going to, is, is geared up to, is geared up for the CHIP, you know, he's going to call, you know, cause, you know, both small and great, right? Both rich and poor to, to receive a mark in their forehead or in their hand, you know what I mean? Or wherever else that he might put it, which is the mark of the beast. You know what I'm saying? Which we're, we're not supposed to take it. Okay. And those who do take it will be destroyed by the Lord, you know, but this is all because in order for, in order for the track certain things that he, in order to track things like energy, right, it has to be a one link type system, right, and, and to make it easy to track, and that, it only makes sense that it would lead up to that, you understand what I'm saying, so yeah, this devil, man, this devil got a lot to pay for, man, but without further ado, let's get into a couple of scriptures, this is Obadiah 1 and 1, it says, the vision of Obadiah, thus say the Lord, Yah Yahweh concerning Edom. We have heard a rumor from the Lord Yahweh, an ambassador is sent among the heathen, Arise ye, and let us rise up against her in battle. I'm going to jump down to three. It says, The pride of thine heart hath deceived thee, thou that dwellest in the clefts of the rocks. And when you go to Job, it clearly tells you who dwellest in the clefts of the rocks, man. Okay, Esau, it says, Whose habitation is high, that saith in his heart, Who shall bring me down to the ground? Well, the Lord is going to bring you down to the ground. Okay, scriptures say, well, you should build, but the, the Lord will throw down. And indeed, the Lord is throwing down this place. The son of perdition is being revealed, right? The elect is being woken up across the four corners of the earth, right? The 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 uh, the skirt on this place is being lifted up, is being exposed. You know, it says, for it says, though thou exalt thyself as the eagle, right? Which after so-called white man had a, had a logo, it would indeed be the eagle. It says, and thou... And though thou set thy nest among the stars, thence will I bring thee down, saith the Lord Yahweh. Okay, I'm going to jump down. It says, hey, it says, shall I not in that day, saith the Lord Yahweh, even destroy the wise men out of Edom and understanding out of the, the Mount of Esau? Okay, so the Lord is going to understand the wise men out of Edom and the understanding out of the Mount of Esau, you know, with these elites and you lower level Edomites. You know, it says, for thy violence against thy brother Jacob, shame shall cover thee, and thou shalt be cut off forever. See, the Lord doesn't forget and has not forgot what, what you heathen have done, man. You know, the Lord has not forgot what Esau has done to Jacob. Okay? You know, not just, you know, in that, not just in Genesis, but all throughout, you know, history. Okay? Or so-called history. 
right? This is Obadiah 1 and 15. It says, for the day of the Lord. Because, you know, why I say that? Because he tell you what he wants you to, to know. You know, it's, it's a lot of shit that they did, you know, that, you know, that they're not going to say. Because it'll really show you the wickedness of this fucking devil. It's 15. It says, for the day of the Lord, your house is near upon all the heathen. As thou hast done, it shall be done unto thee. Yeah, so if you, you put us in the captivity, it's going to be done unto you. Okay, but in righteousness. Okay, it says, as thou has done it, uh, as thou has done, it shall be done unto thee. Thy reward shall return upon thine own head. Okay, he that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. It's 16, it says, for as ye have drunk upon my holy mountain, so shall all the heathen drink continually. Yeah, they shall drink and they shall swallow down and they shall be as though they had not been. Right, because they haven't been oppressed. That's why they speak lawfully concerning depression. But they're going to be in a case which they have not been, which is in uh, which is in subjection. 17, it says, but upon Mount Zion shall be deliverance and there shall be holiness and the house of Jacob shall possess their possessions. OK, when you go to Isaiah 60, it tells you strangers shall build up thy walls, man. Isaiah 14 and 1, the Lord will have mercy on, on Israel. He will redeem Israel, man. The Lord have mercy on Jacob. He will redeem Israel. This is uh, 18. It says, In the house of Jacob shall be a fire. In the house of Joseph, a flame. In the house of Esau, for a stubble. And they shall kindle uh, in them and devour them. And there shall not be any remaining of the house of Esau, for the Lord Yahweh has spoken it. Okay, so there shall be no more remaining of the house of Esau, man. Okay, 21, it says, And, the Savior, and that, that means that in st extinction. For you, for for the the nation of Esau is going to be wiped. You motherfuckers are going to be wiped out. And if you look at everything that you're doing, right, you couldn't blame you, you. You could blame us, but you can't blame us, right? You know, you could you could try to blame us, but you can't blame us, right? Because look, you got the world in shambles, okay? You got the world fucked up, okay? With your agenda, and not just with your agenda, but with your philosophies, with, with, the, with the way you live, the things you promote. You got the world fucked up. The people, mind is fucked up. Everything is fucked up. Food is fucked up. You, you motherfuckers are the devil, man. 21, it says, and Savior shall come up on Mount Zion to judge the Mount of Esau, and the kingdom shall be the Lord Yahweh's. Okay? Yeah. So let me grab this really quick. Um... Uh, So like you. What is that? This is Malachi one and three it says, "Now I hated Esau and laid his mountains and his heritage waste for the dragons of the wilderness." Whereas Edom saith, "We are impoverished, but we will return and build the desolate places." Thus saith the Lord Yahweh of hosts, "They shall build, but I will throw down." And they did build after the Renaissance era. Okay, but the Lord is getting ready to throw throw down, to throw down their power. Okay, it says and uh, and they shall call them the border of wickedness and the people against whom. The Lord Yahweh hath indignation forever. And with your in your eyes shall see, so like in your eyes shall see, and ye shall say, the Lord Yahweh will be magnified from the border of Israel. Uh let me go down. Well, that was basically the point. Yeah, that was basically the point. You know, it says, um, yeah, I'm gonna go back. It says, uh, they shall build, but I will throw down. So they built and the Lord is uh the Lord is getting ready to throw down the first the uh, uh this place is being exposed. Okay. For its wickedness, it says, and they shall call them the border of wickedness and the people against whom the Lord Yahweh will have indignation forever. Okay. So you motherfuckers are gonna fall. Indeed, you're gonna fall, man. Okay, let me go to this really quick. Um right here. This is Psalms 52, and uh, and Doeg was a, a Edomite, but I'm gonna I'm gonna get to what David said to him. It says, uh, <laughs> uh, King David, what, what King David said to him, Psalms 52, and um, uh, I'm gonna start that too. It says, "Thy tongue devises mischiefs, and it still does to this day." 
It says, like a sharp razor working deceitfully. Thou lovest evil more than good. And they do love evil more than good. You can read that in Wisdom of Solomon in the second chapter and get the whole plan and the whole breakdown. It says, in lying rather than to, to speak righteousness. Salah, thou lovest all devouring words. O thou deceitful tongue, the most high shall likewise destroy thee forever. He shall take thee away and pluck thee out of thy dwelling place and root thee out of the land of the living. Salah. Okay, it says the righteous also shall see and fear and shall laugh at him. <laughs> said, Lo, this is the man that made the most high, that made not, that made not the most high his strength, but trusted in the abundance of his riches. Because you that's what you guys do. You trust in the abundance of your riches. Okay, it says, and strengthen himself in his wickedness. And you have strengthened yourself in the wickedness. You thought the Lord was altogether such as one of yourself, but he's not. Okay, I'm gonna read one too. So like I'm gonna, I'm gonna read Psalms 42 and one and I'll end the video. It says to the chief musician, uh, Mashiach, a, a psalm of David, when Doag the Edomite came and told Saul and said unto him, David is come to the house of Amalek. Why boastest thou thyself in mischief, O mighty man? The goodness of the Most High endureth continually. Okay, so you you know. It says, uh, thy tongue divides a mischief like a sharp razor working deceitfully. And again, their tongue do do that still to this day. Okay. Thou lovest evil more than good and lying rather than to speak righteousness. Right. And this is why you motherfuckers have to be plucked off the face of the earth and you will be destroyed. Man. Okay. So with that, Lord, when the videos edifying, Lord, when the I came God's from this video, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh. Bahashem, Yahweh, Shai, Bahashem, Rakwa Kadash. I want to tell you, brothers, keep pushing on to the next. Shalom.